Hi, good day to everyone. My name is Tamara and I am a mother of three kids. As a mom, I want the best for my family. When it comes to the health of my kids, I always rely on the professionals, which are the doctors and research scientists. Today, we're going to touch on the topic of eczema and we have two guests with us. Dr. Han Yong Wen from Clinic EcoSoul Satya Alam and Dr. Kenneth Chu from DMS Group of Companies. Hi, Dr. Han and Dr. Kenneth. Welcome and thank you for joining us today. Dr. Han, could you tell us a bit about yourself and your medical background? Uh, I'm a family medicine specialist. I work as a specialist for eight years. Mm -hmm. I treat various types of eczema from mild to severe. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Dr. Han. Dr. Kenneth, share with us about yourself and what you do. Hi, I'm Kenneth, a scientific researcher turned medical products entrepreneur. My company owns Smith Mayer Lab, which manufactures cosmeceuticals products that complement medical treatments. Currently, I'm managing the MS businesses and also the R&D of our products under the Innovation Excellence Centre or IEC. Thank you, Dr. Kenneth. So, is it through the Smith Mayer Lab brand that the both of you got to know each other? Ah, uh, yes. Dr. Kenneth come as one of the vendors for his eczema products. Even though in my clinic I already have several products, I decided to give it a try and we have been working well ever since. Yes, definitely from my side. In fact, Dr. Han has been an active dealer for Smith Mayer Lab brand. She has represented us professionally for multiple occasions as a speaker at online and physical seminar for eczema. Speaking of eczema, my babies always have sudden rash. Diaper rash, heat rash, and milk rash. You know, the red patches always leave me worried and constantly flustered. More so when they start scratching and they keep crying non-stop. But before we go into um, how you can provide us with a treatment, maybe you can share with us what exactly is eczema and what causes it. Well, eczema actually means sensitive skins. The skin appears red, itchy and inflamed. To treat eczema, we need to treat the underlying cause and also repairing the skin. For eczema, it seems that it's quite common. Doctors usually will recommend steroids for treatment. Now, as a mom, I would like to minimise the usage of steroids as I'm concerned about the potential side effects as well as over-dependence of the drug. Now, Dr Han, what are your views on this? Steroids are very useful, however, we must use it judiciously. Generally, we keep it as minimally needed as possible. It's very good at reducing redness and inflammation in acute eczema. However, to treat eczema, the more essential part is to moisturise and repair the skin. Wet wrap, for example, is a very useful technique. Wet wraps. So, as the name suggests, I assume then you will need a medium like um, a lotion or a cream? That's right. Dr Kenneth, now this next question is for you. One of your hero products is actually the Rescue Comfort Body Lotion. As a consumer, I would usually follow my doctor's prescriptions um, or I would go to the shelf and pick a product and try to use it until I find something that actually works for us. What's the difference between Rescue Comfort Body Lotion versus all the lotions and the creams out there for eczema? Well, we can justify it in a simple way that Rescue Comfort Body Lotions has been optimised for its humectant and emollient content for daily use and also to complement medical treatment, especially wet wraps. Humectant? This is a new term for me. Is humectant and emollient the same thing? No, they are different. Humectant is a base ingredient in a lotion that continuously absorbs moisture from the environment to your skin, while the emollient coats the skin to prevent skin de from getting dehydrated under dry and cold environment. For eczema patients, the lotion recommended by the book is always high emollient to protect the skin from, get, from skin dehydration under cold and dry environment. But think about it, we are living in a tropical country with hot and humid environments and our surroundings have higher moisture content than our skin. Therefore, high humectants works better in these environments. As for the emollient, well, we still need it, but the concentration is much lower than the humectant. Combination of humectant and emollient at perfect ratio makes a non-greasy lotion. And from this basis, our IEC developed the Rescue Comfort Body Lotion. That sounds really great. 
To be honest, I find most lotions out there gives me a greasy and sticky feeling after application. Now I have one more option and to put Rescue Comfort Body Lotion as a product inside my house. Now, I'm curious to know about the wet wrap technique that you mentioned just now, Dr. Han. Could you do the honors and show us how this is done? Sure. Dr. Han, um, what are the things that you need for this wet wrap treatment? Okay, first of all, uh, you can use a pre-made garment like this. Okay, you can open up. Okay. okay. Or if you don't have this, you can actually use a gold. You can get it from any pharmacy. Okay, secondly, you will need uh, normal saline. You can purchase in any nearby pharmacy. In case you stay in rural area and you don't have access, you can use any cool board water. So make sure the water is clean. Okay. Obviously, uh, you will need a lotion. Okay. And then uh, you will need maybe a basin to put the water in. And lastly, of course, your kit will be Okay. So the best time to perform wet wrap is actually after shower when the skin layer is well moisturized. Okay, the absorb lotion the best time. Uh, note for eczema patients, do not use hot shower. You can use lukewarm water or cold water. Do not use strong soup. You can use mouth soup or soup substitute. Mm -hmm. So after shower, you will dry the child. Mm -hmm. Okay, then you apply lotion. May I have a lotion? Okay. So uh, you have generous amount of lotion. Okay. So let's just say the child has eczema over this part. Okay. So you will put lotion and wipe it until it's well absorbed. After that, you may have the water. Okay. Thank you. So uh, you get the water. Okay. Then you will take, if you're using pre-made garments, just measure how much you need. Cut it. And then put this in the water, squeeze dry. So it's wet but it's not dripping wet, yeah? Okay. After that, open and then just wear it. Okay? After that, the child can wear a layer of cotton pyjamas. Leave it overnight. Alright. So I noticed that you actually wet the wrap itself. Now, what's the function of actually wetting the wrap for this treatment? Well, it helps to provide consumer moisturizer effect throughout the night. It works a bit like our sleeping overnight mask. <laughs> oh, okay. So I get the overnight mask concept. Yes, definitely. It's applied overnight. So these wraps need to be removed in the morning or do we just change them daily? Well, you can remove it in the morning because it's very difficult to put it on during daytime. So after you remove, if you need to shower the child, you shower dry the child, then you can apply another layer of lotion. Throughout the day, you can apply as many times as you need. Mm -hmm. Then you put it on again at night. Dr Han, can we perform wet wraps on adults? Yes, it's suitable for any age group. Oh, great. Thank you Dr Han for the demonstration. I definitely learned something about managing eczema today. And of course, thank you Dr Kenneth as well on your knowledge sharing for the Rescue Comfort Body Lotion. One last question before we wrap up the session today. And this will be for you, Dr. Kenneth. Where can we get the Rescue Comfort Body Lotion? Well, currently, the Rescue Comfort Body Lotion is available at selected clinics throughout Malaysia. As for the wet, lab, wet wraps applications, Dr. Han and other participating clinics would be able to demonstrate the technique physically if anyone needs help. Therefore, do reach out to us if you need further information. We have prepared the QR code for Smith Mayer Lab at the end of this video. Scan it to reach out to them on the social media. Last but not least, we would like to thank Smith Mayer Lab for today's video collaboration. See you next time.